Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and I am the Horror Shark. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at a film that was recently released by Vinegar Syndrome on 4K Blu-ray and Blu-ray, as well as two different versions of the same film. Now, if you couldn't tell by that little display I have on the bottom left-hand corner, or from the title of this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Thriller, a cruel picture, also known as They Call Her One Eye, which is my preferred title, as, long, as well as a lot of other people's preferred title for this film. Now, disclaimer, I haven't watched Thriller, A Cruel Picture. I've watched They Call Her One Eye, but Thriller, A Cruel Picture features, like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of pornography, and it's like, I, I don't really need to see that. I don't know if it'll improve or devalue the picture for me. Um... I will watch it eventually, but I did watch They Call Her One Eye, which was a brisk 90 minutes, and I loved it. Now, this is probably my first rape revenge film, and I'm happy to say I was so happy to see it. Wait a minute. I have to say that I'm just, ex I'm just ecstatic. I loved it. It was really, really good. A lot, some people say it's boring, some people say it's too disturbing, but I thought it was just perfect. Not a 5 out of 5 perfect, but in terms of Grindhouse, perfect. Um, this is a beautiful box, too. Look at that. The red, glossy cover with the words. They're not really... They're a little embossed on the cruel picture angle, I think. It might just be the corner of the... Oh, they are a little embossed. That's not too bad. Very lightly embossed. This stars Christina Lindbergh. I can only think of an office space. Lindbergh fucked her. <laughs> um, I can't really show you the back unless I do this, because it has boobies. But it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, the film itself, it's got beautiful elements, but it's a very disturbing picture. Now, most of you will associate me with creature features, fun flicks. This is not a fun flick. The only thing fun about it is when she gets her revenge. And I'll go into detail why it works later on. But, uh, yeah. So, let's see. This comes with two Blu-rays. With two individual cases. Thriller and they... Oh, uh, they call her one eye and then Thriller. You take, a, take it out. It's just a box. But then you have two separate Blu-rays with two separate slipcases. Dude. Awesome. They didn't need to go the extra mile, but I'm glad they did. And these are way more embossed on the cover of the slipcases than the box itself. Um, just look at how, I, how iconic that image is. Now you know where Quentin Tarantino got his inspiration for Kill Bill. Uh, really iconic and very uh, profound shot. It says a lot. It says this girl's been through hell and she's ready to kick some ass. So... Yeah, we'll focus on a thriller, a cruel picture, maybe some other time when I do a full-on review for this. But we're just doing an after with the watch, and I watch The Color One Eye, um, which, again, as I said, was my preferred title. Uh, and, man, oh man, this thing is packed. It was made in Sweden, which was really cool. It was banned by a Swedish... It says right there on the bottom. Banned by Swedish censorship. So, this wasn't even allowed in its own country. Kind of like, I think, a Serbian film. It wasn't really popular in Serbia with Serbians. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, it might have been. I may be wrong about that, but I know some Serbians who do not like that movie. Um, but getting back on track to what they call her one eye. My God. So this film starts off with a disturbing angle it takes. Um, I'm not going to get into too many spoilers, a little bit here and there, but not too much. Um, so if, if you're not really used to this kind of stuff, if you don't like rape revenge or revenge films at all, um, and you really just like creature features, you could probably, um, learn a thing or two about different, a different kind of genre if you stick, or stick around to watch this video, but if you don't want to watch anything about rape revenge, I totally get it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not really my cup of tea. I just, I thought I'd buy it and watch it because I heard it was really good. Uh, I still haven't seen, I even haven't even seen The Last House on the Left or I Spit on Your Grave, but I will someday because I thought this was amazing. 
So it starts off with a uh, molestation. Very disturbing. It's not like a, oh, it's talked about. It was it happened, and we're just going to keep it a secret. Um, no, you kind of see it. Not like in graphic detail, um, but it's not pretty. And it's just this old guy. Um, and her, the, the girl's name is Frigga in the movie, which is <laughs> it's kind of like, fuck it, Frigga. Uh, but damn. Yeah, she, uh, she's like, what, seven, ten, and she's, she... then some time passes, she's become mute from the shock of it all, or so they say, and she eventually is on her way to an, a therapist appointment because of what happened, it still traumatizes her, of course, she's much older now, but not like too old, she's probably under 18, um, and a guy picks her up because she missed her appointment. Some random guy, he's like, I could think of a thousand, I bet you can't even think of one good reason why you can't come with me. I believe that's what he says. And she shakes her head, gets in the car, bad move. Um, from there on out, it just goes down, down, hits her all-time low, and goes further down. It's a sad movie. You really have to suspend your suspension of disbelief. She knows where the bad guys are without any intel. Like, she just ha happens to know where they would be at the time they all congeal and talk about what they're going to do about Frigga. And, uh, they're there and she knows. And she knows where everyone is. And there's no way she would. It's very odd. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. She just knows where these guys are. Unless it's unless it's in Thriller, and they actually explain how, which I doubt, um, then I don't know. But they call her One-Eye. Very disturbing movie. The picture quality is okay. Now, I watched the Blu-ray version. I have a 4K player that only connects to my computer. I was going to go to bed while watching this, but I got so intrigued that I kept on watching. The Blu-ray, there's some spots where it looks very, very grainy. And uh, it's, it's a bit distracting. Like, on the bodies, like the, any naked body, there's like little dots all over them. Um, it's almost like a blur. A blur of dots. And it's very distracting. Well, so my TV is right here. So I was watching it like this close. Like, maybe three, two, three feet apart. So that's probably why I noticed it more. If I was further away, I think it would have been a better experience. Not necessarily a better one, but still. The reason why I think when she, whenever she um, goes through with her revenge and commits the act of murder and why it works, some people don't think it works. I do. You want to see these scumbags pay. And if you just shoot them and then they go, ugh, and that's it, it's not that satisfying. But they die in slow motion. She shoots them. They just fly backwards. Blood spraying from a... a, a what do you call it? Uh, what's the name of that? It's like a little pack they put in. So I do that spritz out blood. I know the name of it. I just can't remember. We'll call it a splatter pack. So that happens. And it happens so often. Some people who don't really deserve to be shot or killed. They're just collateral damage in her way. She is just hell-bent on getting back on these, at these people. It's messed up. No one's really innocent. Frigga's the most innocent, but she does kill a few people that were just in the way. Uh, so, But not maliciously, it's by accident. So, what I recommend they call her one I only if you like these kind of movies. If you don't, I would say it's it's another level or two above Death Wish, the original. Uh, or no, probably about a level above Death Wish 2 in terms of rape. Very good movie, though. And the ending is kind of beautiful, yet poetic, yet underwhelming. It's very, uh, very it leaves you feeling very mixed. Um, but I think it works, because she just doesn't want to have to deal with it anymore. She looks away, so she's seen enough. Good movie. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I thought I'd throw out another video this t today for Friday, because... I just feel like giving you guys a little extra content. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching Lion Brian Gatto, the horror shark. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon. 
or even a dollar a month, will help keep this channel going on strong, and I greatly appreciate it. Plus, you get access to body counts and other music videos that you cannot get on YouTube because of copyright and need restriction monetary support. If you want to support the channel through PayPal, it's horrorshow37 at gmail.com. I greatly appreciate that, too. But if you don't want to support me with any money, just hit that notification bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And as always, subscribe. Bye.